I built a premium pond hop and tackle box. Last year, through the help of you guys on TikTok, we built this pond hop and box version 1. It's loaded with literally everything you need for fishing anywhere. But honestly, I believe that we can do better in building an expensive box. This popper alone costs $20 and it's surrounded by so much awesomeness. Now what if I told you that I was able to catch a fish on every single bait in this box? Would you believe me? Our verse of the day comes from... I'm not even gonna try it and pronounce this name, it's so difficult. But they comment Ephesians 2, 8 to 9, and it reads, For by grace you have been saved through faith, and not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. That is the incredible news of the gospel. It's not dependent on you or me to save ourselves and go to heaven, but rather it's all on what Jesus did on the cross. Now today I'm joined by Elijah who, when did you subscribe to the channel? Probably a few weeks ago when you're around like 90,000. Can you go ahead and read for us our current subscriber count? We are at 106k, thousand subscribers. <laughs> I am bewildered. You guys are just mm, going crazy right now. Now tell me, Elijah, what's special about this private lake we are fishing today? Well, the first thing is me and my dad, well, mainly my dad, he's been waiting to get in this lake for about 14 years. And then once we got in, the first couple of days were just great. And I've caught multiple seven to eight pounders out of this lake. Did, did you just say seven, multiple sevens? Last video, I caught my new PB. 6.5 pounder and Elijah you're telling me that you just got multiple sevens so casually yes sir. <sighs> okay let's put the yin tin in but first let me take y'all back in time to angler's choice I've really wanted to do this for a long time because this tackle shop carries the most premium baits ever starting off we're gonna rock with one of these busby tackle boxes. It's a $40 box, but for good reason, because you know, it's super secure. And look at these individual compartments. It will be perfect for storing all our fancy baits. I proceeded to walk around the store picking up lures, and I'll be honest, this time lapse is super funny. And the reason I decided to speed this up is because I don't know about y'all, but I'm super indecisive when shopping for new equipment. There's just too many good stuff. Also, if you want to support the people who make it possible for me to film these insane videos, you can use my code YINTIN at ACM Tackle. But this is what I ended up getting. We got four different categories. Here's our first one. Hooks, good old shaky head, swim baits, wacky, and Texas. Coming up after is our soft plastics. Robo worms, Damiki knockout, these things smell foul. Six cents Ned Fry, six cents Ridge Worm, and our paddle tail, which is the Kitek. What by am? Now we're working with skirted baits. I decided to try out the spinner bait from six cents. It's like nine dollars. And then a swim jig, followed up by a jackhammer and a missile baits flipping jig. Now this is what gets really expensive. $9 lipless crankbait, evergreen shower blow. These are money, I mean, it looks delicious. We couldn't skip out on the 110 Junior. I mean, what? $20, followed up by a casual $21 crankbait. A beautifully crafted Rico popper coming in at $23, all for me to just put it in a tree. And this is our $40 Busby tackle box. Let's put it together. Whoa, this turned out beautiful. I don't usually fish a lot of private ponds, so these opportunities are so golden. We got Elijah on the boat. I'm gonna go ahead and join as well. Oh, we've been on a big fish streak for the last two videos, so I don't know. Maybe today we can uh, do something special as well. Trolling motor, deploy. Oh yeah. So here, here's the game plan, right? We're at an incredibly good lake. So I thought to myself, hey, you know, let me try and do a tackle box slam, which basically means that I will catch a fish using every single lure inside of here. I think we're gonna go with something easy first. Let's take a worm and we'll throw it on our spinning combo. I'm gonna try doing a Nico rig. This is all new to me, but apparently it works well. So just like that, there's a little weight on the bottom. Rolling up on some trees first of all. Let's cast. Who can catch a fish first, Elijah or me? The reason why I decided to film this video on this lake is because it's pretty shallow. I mean, I, I would say the average is around six feet and that kind of replicates a pond. So I think it just matches perfectly. Elijah's telling me how there's some massive bluegill in here as well. So. You might break that PB as well. 
Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What? <laughs> I was reeling. I wasn't even looking. I was looking away, just reeling it in, and he ate it. Whoa. All right, buddy. That's our first fish. I guess the Nico rig works. Anyways, that is a strange looking fish. See you, buddy. That's one bait down out of like, I don't know, 15. I guess it's Texas rig already, so I'm gonna put on this creature bait. It is really funky looking, but I'm sure it'll give some amazing action in the water. Elijah, you think I can catch one on my first cast? Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> Sorry, I just crossed you and I snagged a log. Yeah, there you go. Ooh, it's about a two pounder. There you go, get him in here. So far the two fish we've caught have been very quality. Something tells me that this lake is more than just private. It might be legendary. Got one? There you go. Lean on him. How is it? Ooh, about a one pounder. Let's go. No way. Yeah. Double, double. Look at that GoPro. Look what we just did. Well done, fish bump. All right, goodbye. Okay, <laughs> this is absurd. I'm convinced that this lake is insane. <laughs> We've been fishing for like 10 minutes. So that's two baits knocked out. And as you can see, we have some topwater baits in here. We're gonna be throwing those last when the topwater bite really turns on. As of now, let me grab one of these big worms. Can we get three baits knocked out? Here we go. This is what I caught my PB on. I want you guys to go ahead and drop down in the comments, which baits would you add to this box? Cause I know it kind of looks a little sparse, honestly, compared to the first box. Comment down your favorite pond lures and I'll just literally read your comment and I'll add it directly into the box. Switching spots with Elijah. He's gonna get the front real quick. I don't think we'll have any trouble getting bit on this. Oh, you gotta love summer. Just random rain showers out of nowhere. I know some of y'all are already gonna comment this, so I'm gonna say this. The amount of curls on my head is the amount of fish we're gonna land today. One thing about this lake is that it's designed for bass fishing. Every single white pole in the water marks a Christmas tree somebody sunk, which basically is just an incredible structure. Why are we not hitting those? <laughs> we're beating the bank over here. <laughs> There's some baits in that box that I really, really wanna get my confidence up with. Yeah, I also have a fish. Letting him eat. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, double. <laughs> yes, sir. Second. Double. Ah, of course Elijah's is bigger than mine, but that don't matter. Okay. We're having fun out here. Yes, sir. See you, buddy. What do we want to chuck next? So that's three baits down. I want to switch to a big fish catcher. Let's go to the chatterbait. The chances of us, like one of us hooking into a five plus, I would say it's pretty high today. Jackhammer go brrrr. For a fisherman like me who doesn't have any real access to any special bodies of water, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. Can't waste any time. The PBs are in here. I just need to make the right cast at the right time. Oh yeah, no way. I actually snagged something. I was concerned, like, am I really gonna get bit on every single cast? This ain't fishing, this is straight up catching. Yeah, here we go. Hello. Whew. Ha! That is the chatterbait fish we've been looking for. See ya. Let's do this crankbait. It looks funky and it costs $20. At this rate, we're really gonna have ourselves a slam. This crank is super funny looking, but it's perfect for shallow water. We're in about like three feet right now. The crankbait is probably something that is one of my least favorite baits to throw. So I'm trying to like catch a fish on this quick so I can switch. I think the biggest fish we've caught so far is like a two pounder. We haven't caught anything of substantial size yet, but I have some baits in my box designed just for that task. Oh. 
Oh yeah. There, finally. Yes. Thank you, God. I really wanted to be finished with the crankbait. It's just not my favorite thing to throw. And it has so many hooks. It's scary. Oh, that sounds like a good one, man. That's the biggest so far. What do you want to do? You want me to grab him? Here. Oh, sorry. I should have just no, grabbed him. Dude, Elijah just missed like a three plus pounder. Oh, they're in here and they are on these trees. So we're going to tie on something bigger. Swim jig. Swim jig. Yes. Exactly. Swim jig will get bit by something ginormous. As the sun starts setting, the bite's just gonna get better and better and better. There we go. Oh no. It's a snag. <laughs> I was like, that's a big hit. Oh yeah, there, wow, on the drop. He, he, he's got me wrapped. Oh, there we go. Wait, never mind. He is not a good one. <laughs> All right, hi buddy. You know what? <laughs> I kind of want to catch another one on the swim jig because that one was just like, what was that? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, another one. Okay. All right, I think we're done with the swim jig. Chill, 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 ah! Okay, calm down, calm down. That's my camera. Ah! See you, buddy. All right, I wanna try this jig. Wow. I would eat this if I was a fish. I can't wait for the top water bite. It's about to be sick. Oh yeah, I got one. Is he still on? No, I think he came off. No, he dropped it. Oh, he's on, he's on. Oh yeah. Mm. That feels nice. Come in, buddy. Yes. <laughs> the amount of double ups we've had today is absurd. Okay, my last skirted bait is the spinner bait. This will be quick. So easy. There you go. Oh, that's a big one. Yeah, there we go. Let's put her on the scale. Biggest one so far. 2.2. 2. There you go. There it is. Finally, a spinnerbait fish. Whew, the Lord is good. There she is. Just long arm it, make it look like a 10. See you, buddy. That's easily half of the box done. Um, what I need to knock out next is jerkbait. Oh, jerkbait, I can just do it now. This is easy. This is one of my favorite wintertime lures. It's a Mega Bass Vision 110. I just want to fly through the rest of these baits and get on the top water. I don't want to see a bad idea. I'm going to throw this bait that has nine hooks on it into this tree. There we go. Oh, that guy went airborne. It's fun when they eat it like that. <laughs> All right, buddy, you're gonna behave. Not gonna squirm around while I de-hook you. See ya. That's my biggest one so far. It's about like a two or something. Oh, another instant fish. This jerk bait is overpowered. See ya, buddy. With them chasing Chad like this, a lipless might actually be the move. <laughs> He's already got one. Too easy. Good? Oh! Ah, oh, I doubled up with you. Yes. Yep. That that's 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 uh that's the biggest one of the day for us, man. What I'm noticing is these bigger fish are starting to eat as the day gets later. Two six two. Two six? Only two six? Wow. There is one more bait aside from top water, and that is the shaky head. So we'll tie this on real, real quick. One of the ugliest rigged shaky heads. <laughs> oh, sorry. Shaky head. 
Here we go. All day. Three. Yeah, there's the fish already. Just lean on him. Hi there. Okay, this was our last official non-topwater bait. I get it, I'm fishing at an insane lake, but even then, like, all the baits in this tackle box are proven to work. See ya, buddy. And that is that. We have caught a fish on every single lure in this box, except for topwater. $22 popper. Let's see what the hype is about. Oh! Oh! He got it back! Oh, no! He missed it again! Come on, come on. Six hooks, and he missed it. Ah, oh, there he is. Hi there, buddy. This is a good one. All right, chill. Bass thumb is so bad today. Oh, that was close. All right, all right, all right. That was way too close. We almost got hooked. Pound and a half. See ya. Tying on the last topwater bait, and then we will have completed the premium pond hop and tackle box slam. If you guys are familiar with walking a frog, that's basically the same type of movement you use with walking baits like this. This bait probably casts the furthest out of any bait I've ever thrown. Instant hit, instant fish already. Oh, wait, no way, yes, blue cow. Give me some, yes. Mmm, look at that, it's massive. <laughs> Straight up pancake. See ya, buddy. There we go, we have completed the tackle box slam, except this thing, I'm gonna throw it for the rest of the day. But first, can I get where you are real quick? Let me open up this, and come on, where is it? Giant swim baits. There we go. That's that's not small, dude. That's not small. Here we go. Stay down. Oh! Yep, that's the biggest of the day for me. Oh, that's a five. Oh, come on. Oh! Look at how she ate it. <laughs> Just like that. Absolute giant. <laughs> yep, right on the dot. Four. <laughs> nice. That's the biggest of the day. Wow, that might be the kicker we've been looking for. See you, buddy. Ah. Thank you, Jesus, for this day. It was awesome. Mm -hmm.